Hi everyone, this is Selena. Welcome back to one of my videos. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Selena and I release a crochet tutorial every week. So this week I'm bringing to you this gorgeous half circle um, shawl. It's really easy to crochet and it features a gorgeous um, ruffle border as you can see and I will be taking you through this project and tutorial step by step. So the free pattern can be found on my blog, selinaveronique.com. I will be linking this in the down bar as well as it, all the information needed to make this um, crochet shawl. For this crochet project, I used two skeins of Lion Brand Yarns Shawl in a Ball in shade Unique Unicorn. And so I used two balls of this and it's really, really gorgeous. I absolutely adore this yarn. It's so soft and beautiful. Um, yes, I also used a six millimeter crochet hook as well as a um, tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. And that's all you will be needing for this project and I will be talking in US terms. So to begin this project you are going to be making a slip knot. Pop your hook through and tighten. And now you are simply going to be chaining four. So one, two, three and four. And slip stitch to close um, a ring, so to create a ring, just slip stitch through the first chain that we made and now we are simply going to be working within this circle. So chain three, one, two and three and you are going to be, and this counts as our first double crochet and now we are simply going to be working six more double crochets within this circle. So just go ahead and place six double crochets into this circle, like so. So I have four. So this is um, the first um, row of this project. So now for row two, chain three, one, two and three. Turn your work and we are simply going to be um, placing a, um, another double crochet into that first stitch. So this was the first um, double crochet, well it's a chain three but this counts as our first double crochet and it obviously goes with this first stitch and what we are going to be doing is placing another double crochet into this first stitch. So it creates two double crochets in one single stitch. So there we go. And we are simply going to be placing two double crochets in each double crochet until the end of this row. So just go ahead and place two double crochets together inside each stitch until the end of this row. row. <laughs> And we are going to be placing two double crochets, two in the chain three of um, the previous row. So now that we've seen that chain three, we are going to be placing two double crochets inside that chain three. So there we go. And this creates our second row. So you see it's really, really easy. So now for row three, we are going to be chaining three, one, two, and three. Turn your work. And we are going to be placing two double, a uh, second double crochet in this first um, stitch, like we did previously. So place two double crochets in that. In the second stitch, 
we are simply going to be placing just one double crochet into that. Into the next stitch we are going to be placing two double crochets. And in the next stitch one double crochet. And in the next stitch two double crochets. and in the next stitch one double crochet and we are simply going to be alternating um, two double crochets, one double crochet until the end of this row and then I'll show you how to finish off this row. So I've almost finished this round, I've just placed two double crochets together and I have one stitch left at the end of this row and because I've just placed two double crochets together in the previous row I'm just going to finish off with one double crochet. There we go. And this is our third row. So now for row four, one, two, three, turn your work and this counts as your double crochet, a double crochet. What we are going to be doing is um, placing another double crochet in the first stitch as always. And now what we are going to be doing in the next stitch is place one double crochet on its own. And then in the next stitch, one double crochet on its own. And in the next stitch, two double crochets together. So you see this pattern is slowly unfolding. So this row, so we've placed two double crochets together. And now in the two next stitches, we're just going to place one double crochet on its own each time and then in the next stitch two double crochets together so you see it's a very easy pattern you are simply going to be placing two double crochets together one double crochet on its own another double crochet on its own and then in the next stitch two double crochets together one and two and then in the next stitch one double crochet and in the next stitch one double crochet so it's very simple I'll just let you carry on until the end of this row so I've almost finished um, this this row I've got one stitch left and that's a single a double crochet on its own inside that chain three from the previous row and this is how it looks. So I finished on one double crochet on its own. So that's what round, well row three looks like. So now for, uh, no not row three, row one, two, three, four, row four, sorry. So one, two and three turn your work and this is the beginning of row five and this also counts as our first double crochet we are going to be placing another double crochet inside that first stitch and now we're just going to place one double crochet on its own in the next stitch one double crochet on its own in the next stitch one double crochet on its own in the next stitch. So you see we've now got three double crochets on their own and we are going to be placing two double crochets together in the next stitch. So really what this pattern is, is the exact same as um, last row except you are going to be placing three double crochets on their own before placing two double crochets together, three double crochets on their own, two double crochets together. And this is how it's going to be row after row. So the point of this pattern is that at each time you add another row, you are going to be adding another double crochet on its own. So for this row, we've got three double crochets on their own before placing two double crochets together. So this means in the next row, you will have four double crochets 
on their own before placing two double crochets together and in the row after that you will have five double crochets on, on their own before placing two double crochets together and this is what creates this half circle that will grow and grow and grow so I hope this um, tutorial is clear don't forget to download the free pattern for the exact details of all this but it should be it's really really an easy pattern it's really not difficult so just carry on with that principle so every time you add a row you are simply going to be adding a double crochet on its own in within the row so I hope this is clear so just carry on this pattern until you reach 30 rows in total or the um, size that you want for this shawl and now I'm just going to show you how to create um, the border this is a smaller sample as you can see but the principle is the same so for the border you are going to be um, chaining three one two and three turn your work and um, now what we are going to be doing so this counts as a double crochet and it goes with this first stitch here and we are going to be placing two more double crochets within this stitch right here so that first stitch so just go ahead and place two more double crochets within that first stitch so that we have three double crochets in total in this stitch. Now you are going to be placing three double crochets in the next stitch. So just go ahead, one, two, and three. And into the next stitch, three double crochets into that one stitch. And you are going to be placing three double crochets together into each and every stitch across until you reach the end of um, the round and then I'll show you what to do then. Okay, so I've gone round with this um, first row of this border and I've almost finished. I just wanted to show you um, the end of this row. So I've placed um, three double crochets in this stitch and now, um, which is almost the end of the row, but not quite because we still have the chain three from the previous row. And so in that chain three, we are going to be placing three double crochets together too. So I wanted to emphasize this so that you don't forget that chain three from the previous row. And there we go, I've completed the first row of this frilly border. So now for row two, it's very simple. I'm going to chain three. So one, two and three and turn your work. Obviously I'd already turned it for the purpose of this video but this counts as your first double crochet and goes with this first stitch. So now we're going to go directly into the second stitch and place a double crochet into that. And into the next stitch we're going to place a double crochet into that and into the next stitch and um, you are simply going to be um, placing a double crochet into each and every double crochet from the previous row until you reach the end of this row here and don't forget the chain three to place a double crochet into that and yes yeah, so that's row two of this frilly border simply place one double crochet into each double crochet from the previous row and we are going to have two more um, rows of this so what we will have is three rows in total of just simple double crochets on top of those double crochets. So I hope this is making sense. So we'll have one row of three double crochets together, which I've just shown you. And then after that row, which is the basis of the frilly border, we will have three rows of um, a simple double crochet on top of the double crochets from the previous row. So that means four rows 
for the border in total, if that makes sense. Again, my pattern is available on selinaveronique.com for free, so don't forget to check that out. And yeah, I'm simply gonna um, let you carry on with this pattern because it's so easy. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye and see you next week.